Hello Nursery, I hope you're all keeping well. I'd like to say thank you to Edward and to Elias for sending in their videos and pictures of their work. Well done and thank you grown-ups. I think yesterday you had lots of fun doing the repeating pattern with Miss Rodriguez. And today I thought in keeping with the mini beast theme I would do another pattern, a symmetrical pattern. And today we're going to paint a symmetrical butterfly. I'm not going to use food colouring like we did the last time. I'm going to use paints. And I'm also going to use some sponges. You probably have sponges like these at home. Let's see what we're going to do. I've got my large sponge. I haven't got an elastic band, but I've got this tie and I'm going to put it onto the centre of the sponge. That's going to be my butterfly. If you had a tighter elastic band or a piece of string, you could make it tighter and make your wings more pronounced. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply paint to both sides of the sponge. I have to think, I have to be careful because it has to be the same pattern on both sides. Shall we start? I'm going to put some purple around the outside. to put there. That's right, I need to put some more purple. And that way it will be the same on both sides. I'm going to rinse my brush because my brush at the moment is purple and I want to change colours. I'm just going to dry it on my tissue and then I'm going to use another colour. I think I'll have blue. Oh, so I'm going to have a big blue spot there and a blue spot here. One more blue spot on the other side and another on that side and then they are both the same. They're symmetrical. What colour shall I have now? I think I will have pink. Rinse my brush before I apply my last colour. I think I'll have some small spots. One, two. And one. So now the pattern is the same on both sides. 
what I need to do now is I need to press it on my piece of paper. Press down hard. And then lift up your piece of paper. And there's your butterfly. What's the butterfly missing, I wonder? That's right, it needs a body. I'm going to paint the body orange. And it needs some antennae. Can you remember how many antennae the butterfly has? That's right, it has two. One, two. And there's my butterfly. Now that's quite a big butterfly. So I can also make a smaller one. And I've used this kitchen scourer to make my small butterfly. I just tied it up with a little bit of string and that's made my antennae and the body. So again, I'm going to paint some spots on my butterfly. You can choose whatever colours you want. And then I'm going to press this onto the paper. Remember to press hard. And then I'm going to draw the body. And the antennae. There you go, those are my smaller butterflies. And the wings are symmetrical. They're the same on both sides. Well boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that activity. But don't worry, if you haven't got any paints at home, it doesn't matter. You can draw your butterfly. Now, I've drawn one half of my butterfly, so I just need to look and think. I've got one, two wings. So to make my butterfly symmetrical, I need one, two wings here. So now I have one, two, three, four wings and they're symmetrical. I'm going to use some shapes to decorate my butterfly. I'm going to do one triangle. What shape do I need to have here to make it symmetrical? Have a think. That's right. I need another triangle with one, two, three sides. I think I'm going to do a circle here. It goes round and round and round and has no corners. And another one here, round and round and round it goes. And now I'm going to use my pencils to colour it. I'm going to colour this triangle pink. What colour do I need to colour this triangle? That's right. This also needs to be pink. So 
So it's the same on both sides. And for my circle, I'm going to colour it orange. And then I'm going to colour this one orange. And I've made the pattern symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. So now I just need to give my butterfly some antennae. There's my antennae. And that's my butterfly, boys and girls. I hope you have fun at home now making your butterflies, whether you print them or whether you draw them. And grown-ups, please send in the pictures to the website. We really do enjoy receiving them and we're very, very grateful for all the hard work you're putting into sending them to us. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.